Okay, I knew I was gonna have to make this video sometime, but uh, regardless, I, you guys might be like, "Oh my God, my God's not the best fighter anymore." Well, actually, he is, and I'll I'll make another video about that. But this is proving why he is that guy. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with season one, of course, right? Season one, we first meet him. Just a kid from Ecuador comes here, uh, uh, comes to the valley. Doesn't really know anybody. Doesn't really have any friends. He meets Johnny. Tries to be nice to him. Johnny's kind of like a dick. Then uh, we see him in at the uh, gas station. You know, minds his own business. Talks to Johnny. Johnny's kind of a dick again. Then Kyler and his friends start beating him up because apparently he might have snitched or something. I'm not sure what happened because we weren't in there because, I mean... I'm pretty sure nobody's going to believe Kyler's in college, honestly, but whatever. We got ain't no bitch, so we, he, he ain't going to lie. Because lying's kind of a bitch move, we got ain't no bitch. Obviously, he's going to tell his homeboy, because he ain't going to... Uh, like, he's friends with that dude. I don't, I don't know his name, the dude who owns the store. So we ain't going to, like, dish out his homeboy for a dude he never knew, but whatever. That's just, that's just how a real dude does it, right? Then Johnny gets arrested, and Miguel tries to defend him. Because he knows that's the right thing to do. Always does what he's right, even before he uh, has his training, right? So, that's kind of a thing that guy would do. He does what he wants, and what he wants to do is the right thing. Just saying, all right? So then, Johnny starts to train him. He, I mean, he does whine a little bit in the beginning, because, I mean, he does a lot of like, cleaning and shit. But he takes it pretty well. He works his ass off. He does extra training. He literally trains like the whole ass day. And I mean, he gets better and better. And that's just dedication. That's hard work right there. Another quality of that guy. Right? Then, uh, am I getting this in order right? So then after they make the rumors and stuff about Sam, he still becomes friends with her. Oh, yeah, Kyler. He tried, he was gonna say hi to Sam. Some people say he was gonna hit on Kyler's girlfriend. But I do not think that's what he was going to do. He's probably just going to say hi to her. But, you know, whatever. That's just how I interpret it. Anyways. So then he becomes friends with uh, Demetri and Eli. Doesn't even, like, know them. He's nice to them. He tells them, you know, how you can try to get them into his dojo. Being kind. Trying to help people out. And he knows that they're probably not. He knows that they're not too popular and they might get bullied as well. Trying to do the right thing. Right off the bat, right? And, uh, then, so yeah, he trains with Johnny. Keeps working hard, yada yada. Then Halloween dance come around. Uh, after, you know, he doesn't, he knows he's eventually going to have to fight Kyler again. Because the two of them, like, Kyler hates him. Then, he tries to fight Kyler and stand up for his friends when, like, Kyler, he knew it was going to happen. So Miguel makes the first move, gets the ass kicked because it's like a 20v1, and you know, that's, that's an L, but you know, he tried to do the right thing once again, so I uh, wouldn't hold that against him, but, uh, so yeah, then his mom won't let him train, then he, his mom, like, starts saying bad things about Johnny, and then Miguel stands up for Johnny, and tries to say, well, hey, you don't know him, so don't judge somebody like you do know him if you don't. So, once again, that guy, right? Then he goes on to uh, begin training again with Johnny, and then he trains even harder, yada yada, pretty much. That's the end of that part. He uh, tries to get Aisha into the dojo with, you know, Going against Johnny's views of uh, women doing karate. So, you know, that's another thing. Uh, when she's getting bullied, he tries to help her by letting her come into the dojo. Then, uh, he fights Kyler. Uh, takes Sam as his lab partner when she has nobody to do it. I mean, he stood up against Kyler, clutched up a 6v1. Pretty, pretty cool, I'm not going to lie, right? That, that's another trait of that guy, you know, does what he's right, does what he feels like. Then, uh, they go on the date, they start dating, 
yada yada. Then, everything's going well. Then when she's on call, FaceTime with him, or Zoom, or whatever the hell it was, she calls him his lab partner. So he, he's a little suspicious. She also tries to, to get him to leave Cobra Kai and join a new dojo, which was a little, like... Well, it was, like, pretty rude of her to say that, but, I mean, understandable. I mean, she didn't try to explain it, though. That's the thing. She probably should have said, hey, you know, Cobra Kai's past was pretty bad. Maybe you shouldn't join that dojo. She said that or something, then I feel like that'd be more justified than Johnny Miguel might talk about yada yada. But, um... She doesn't give an explanation. Then, uh, he wants to meet her parents, and she doesn't really, like, ever give him the opportunity to. He says, and then she tries to, like, make him look like the bad guy, saying, I never met your parents. Which, again, it's just kind of like, you, you shouldn't really be playing the victim when you're not the victim. Well, at least not now, but. Then, you know, he wants to meet Mr. LaRusso, so he tries to go and meet him and their family, but he sees Robbie there, and he can obviously tell that he's into Sam, which, I mean, we know is true, and he feels betrayed, but then he still gives Sam the benefit of the doubt after everything, and she still kind of tried to make him look like the bad guy, saying about how she didn't meet his parents either, his family, and I don't know, it's kind of not a good look for her. So yeah, then, you know, he's trying, he feels bad about being kind of rude to her, and then he call, keeps calling her again and again and again. And she doesn't answer. And uh, he tries to make it up for it. Then when he goes to the party, you know, he gets drunk. because He's feeling bad. He probably shouldn't have done that. That was, like, to get that drunk. That was not a very good idea whatsoever. Right? Then uh, when he sees her, she's holding hands with the dude that he was already suspecting wanted to get with her. So then he's mad. Then when she's trying to talk to him... I mean, maybe she could have got to him, then Robbie butts in, and then he gets mad, pushes Robbie, which, I mean, Robbie shouldn't have gotten involved, to be honest. Then Robbie's like, hey, you want to try that again? And then, I mean, he challenges him to a fight, then Miguel tries to punch him, but he's drunk, so he hits Sam, which, that was a pretty bad idea. Then she leaves him, so, yeah, bad. Then, when he's at the tournament, first thing he does is try to apologize to her. After, I mean, he already said that he was sorry when it happened, but still, that doesn't really make up for it, because... I mean, it just happened. So then, afterwards, he tries to apologize. She doesn't accept his apology. Apology, and I'm she kind of. I guess you could say insults, Cobra Kai. I don't know if that's what I say because I mean, what she says makes sense. Then he just says, "Watch what I do to Robbie Keane in the finals." And um, I mean, I'm not gonna lie to you because I think it's something that people don't notice is after a hog uh, blindside Robbie, you can see Miguel yelling at him in the background. So I think he thought that was wrong, but I, I don't know. I can't confirm that but so anyways he does cheat in the tournament but i think you gotta use some perspective but i mean i think you could argue like hey is he supposed to not hit robbie anywhere besides that one shoulder and also you get him in the front of the shoulder and it's like kind of confusing like it's like the, i don't know but regardless he shouldn't have done that but i think his goal in the fight was to hurt robbie more so than actually win and then he ends up winning I think he probably could have won if, like, him and Sam were fine, and then he had, like, a focused mentality, not just, like, an angry mentality, but that's just my opinion. So, yeah, that's season one for you. Sorry that part was so long. Okay, so anyways, on to season two. So season two, he still wants to get back with Sam, try to make things right. Then, uh, Tori comes, uh, to Cobra Kai, tries to get with him. They end up getting together. This is something that I feel like he shouldn't have done, because he was still in the Sam, so getting with somebody else while you're still in the, uh, a different person is not a good, good thing to do, but it's also kind of, because Tori knew that he was still in the Sam, so her trying to get in, to get with Miguel is also, you know, not too good of an idea on her part either. So, then, uh, he's suspicious of Crease. And what he's been doing, and he, he he knows that a lot of the things he says aren't true. All the others aren't smart enough to call call him out on his bullshit. Then, uh, when Johnny's gone, Kreese tells him like how you should shouldn't show mercy, 
But Miguel stands up to him and tells him that it's wrong to have no mercy. And he said that there's no honor in being merciless. Then Kreese is just like, hey, you're loyal, but yada yada, you should trust me, I know this stuff. And then Miguel doesn't know any better, because he knows, hey, this is Johnny's teacher, and this goes against what Johnny told me, but he's more experienced than Johnny, so he believes him. Then, uh, later on, he fights Hawk, and, I mean, he kicks his ass, pretty much, because he's mad about him stealing the medal, and he thinks that's disrespectful, because he, he didn't like that whole idea of what he was doing. He also didn't like Hawk um, being, like, a dick to Dimitri. Then he shows no mercy to Hawk, and uh, Johnny tells him that it's wrong, and then he goes back to showing mercy. He then returns the medal to Robbie, tells him that he's sorry about what happened at the dojo, even though he had nothing to do with it. Tell Sam, he tells Robbie to tell Sam that he's sorry. Robbie doesn't do it. Then uh, they meet at the roller rink, all four of them. He tries to just be nice to them, uh, Robbie and Sam, after everything they've been through, but they just don't really talk. They kind of like, I mean, they acknowledge he's there, but they don't, they kind of just don't talk to him. And then uh, he tries to clear the air with Sam, and so they can be on decent terms again. Then she just, like, starts being rude and insulting Tori. And then he has to say, you don't even know her. You shouldn't judge her. Same thing he did in season one. And then Sam's just like, hey, I know enough. And then Miguel's just like, hey, yo, you're dating the dude that I was suspicious about for a while. And how are you trying to make me feel bad for that? And then, yeah, yeah. They feel awkward. He sees Sam take out Tori. And then the uh, next big thing would be the party. So during the party, him and Tori seem to have a little bit of a rough patch. I mean, it might be because of him talking to Sam the other day. But I'm not exactly sure. Then uh, he ends up kissing Sam when she's drunk. People like get mad at him for that. But I mean, she was into him and he was still into her was obvious but yeah he shouldn't have done that he does regret it immediately sam doesn't seem to regret it like he did but uh yeah that was not a good thing to do i mean he was into sam and, like he didn't really care about her so he should have gotten back with her i believe but he should have like definitely broken up with tori first and then uh he talks to hawk the next day and i think he was gonna tell tori about it but, I mean, Tori just goes ape shit and tries to start a fight. And then Miguel tries to stop it. And then he sees Robbie, like, pushing Tori. So then he fights Robbie, kicks his ass, which, I mean, he kind of had that coming. Then, uh, when Miguel had the chance to break Robbie's arm, he doesn't and shows mercy and tells him he's sorry. And Robbie kicks him off the balcony and he goes into coma. So he does the right thing and it just doesn't work out for him. So, yeah, I mean, he tried to fix his mistakes. So, in, uh, season three... He uh, ends, so he wakes up from his coma after clutching his fight in the dream. Then uh, he sees Johnny, he's really mad, Johnny gets emotional. Then he sees Johnny again, the back, the boys back together. He's not, as, he's not mad anymore, Johnny's helping him get through recovery. He meets with Sam again, um, he's happy to see her, and he's Still, he's not mad at her or Hawk or anybody, it seems. Uh, him and Johnny work on their recovery. Uh, he and Tori have a run in. He tells her she should get help. And then what she's doing was like, she shouldn't have done what she did. And then she still thinks she's right. I mean, I think he did what was right. I mean, obviously, she did, what she did was wrong. And she wouldn't admit it. And then Miguel's just like, dude, I, I didn't want you to do that. I got, I paid the price for what you did, and what you did was for me, and it's like, yeah, I think you guys get that. Um, then, uh, yeah, after him and Johnny work at it for a little longer, he gets back on his feet, and then learns about, uh, Hawk, uh, so yeah, it makes his grand return to the school, everyone loves him, because, you know, he is that guy, and then, uh, he learns about Hawk bullying Dimitri, and then he confronts Hawk, telling him about, I mean, he does kind of, like, tell him about how he's being a dick, and, I mean, bro, honestly, if Miguel was, like, back to where he was in season two, he would have probably kicked his ass, let's be real here, but, and then he gives him a chance, he says, hey, Johnny is making a new dojo, you can join it, 
And he gives him a chance at redemption, which is honestly just like the right thing to do. Proven once more, he's that guy. Him and Sam start over being friends again. And then uh, he stands for the old valley, even though Johnny didn't want him to fight. And he still wants to prove himself. He's the heart of the champion, like Johnny said. And then, so him and Sam fight for the old valley. They win. They uh, end up celebrating it together. And they are about to kiss when uh, Robbie shows up. Robbie starts to, like, insult Sam, kind of, and, like, say that she just wanted to get back with Miguel. And then uh, Miguel isn't about to take that, let his girl take that kind of disrespect. So he stands up for her. Then he's about to hit Miguel. And then Sam knows that Miguel probably couldn't play Robbie at this point in time because, you know, it's back. And then she stands up for him. And yeah, so then they're getting together. He and Daniel have a talk. Uh, and then Miguel, this is where you see how nuanced he is. He takes both sides of the story now. He says... When Daniel's telling about his side of the story, he, he says, well, what about this? He doesn't just listen. He's not, he's not like a zombie who just listens to everything he's told. He gives his opinions, his thoughts. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much uh, most of the things he does. Then he tries to get the dojos back together, and the fight starts. He's kind of intimidated by Kyler. Then uh, he fights Kyler. Even after everything, kicks his ass because, you know, he's that guy. Then Hawk comes back and he gives, after Hawk comes back, he does give him a chance. And because of him and Sam, the dojos get together. Uh, so, yeah, season three, double arc, dub dude. Okay, out of season four. So, in season four, he helps keep Daniel and Johnny together. Like, he was one, him and Sam, like, literally carry the two dojos by keeping them together. But, uh, so yeah, they stay together, uh, for a little while, then they end up getting broken apart because Daniel and Miguel are bonding. And, uh, Miguel kind of likes talking to Daniel, it seems, because Daniel's kind of neutral on things. And,. Like, when he talks about his dad, he talks about Johnny. Like, he tell he can talk to him about things that he doesn't usually talk to other people about. And then Johnny's just kind of, like, pissed off about it. He's kind of, like, a little bit of a dick to Miguel, to be honest. But Miguel's just like, okay, whatever. And then when they the two dojos end up breaking up, he goes with Johnny. Because, you know, Johnny's, like, a dad to him. And then, uh, yada yada. Oh, yeah, another thing. Robbie... And him had that little confrontation at the park. And he didn't really... Robbie's just like, hey, remember what happened the last time we fought? And then Miguel doesn't say anything. I feel like in season five, he's going to change a lot because he's always holding himself back. And he could say a lot of things that he wouldn't want to say. That he doesn't want to say. Like, I think if he had no filter, like if he said what he wanted to say, he probably would have said Robbie, hey dude, I could have just broken your arm if I wanted to, but I chose not to. And like, you didn't win that fight, bro. But, I don't know. But, yeah. So, Johnny gets mad at him about that. Then, uh, so, yeah, they have the conflict. Him and Dimitri and Eli just don't seem to talk as much, really. Him and Sam are fine. Then Johnny and uh, Carmen, uh, he finds out about that, and then they're weird. And then that messes with him, and he's mad about that. Then Johnny, like, tries to make things right, and then they're doing better. Then he has him do less training and stuff and it's it's a weird it's a weird relationship then they find Devin and stuff it'd be cool to see him like more have more of like conversations with people on Eagle thing that'd be cool but yeah so they I mean that happens and then uh oh almost forgot to say that he tries to like impress Daniel and stuff too that's another thing because he just wants to make things right and he doesn't want to like be on sides and stuff like they do. So then him and Sam go to prom after all the things that happened. And then he just wants to stop the drama and have a night with themselves. I think he's going to tell her that he loved her. But I, I can't confirm it, but it, it seems like that's going to happen. Then uh, he... So they have like a kind of rough night because uh, Tori and Robbie there. They both keep getting distracted and looking at them. <laughs> I mean, that's what the, the two of them were meant. That's what their goal was, to get them to look. 
And then, uh, so yeah, they end up not having the best night. And then Sam attacks Tori, Miguel stops her. And then the two of them start to argue. So yeah, uh, he tries to stop the fight. And then Robbie comes and then they fight. And Robbie tells him about how he doesn't think Johnny cares. He says, you think my dad cares about you? He just wants to make up for screwing up with me, yada yada. And then uh, my guy was just like, okay, whatever. Then they finish the fight. They get thrown in the pool. Then he's mad at Sam because he thinks it was a night for them, and then she ruined it. And uh, then she's Sam says he's taking her side. He goes home to Johnny because he feels like that's the only person he can talk to. Johnny's just like, uh, says, what do you say again? Oh, I love you too, Robbie. Because and then yeah, it breaks Miguel's heart. That's like the final nail in the coffin. And this is probably when he made the decision that he wanted to leave. Uh, so he goes in the tournament, kicks ass. Didn't get a single point scored on him. Then Fawhawk gets injured, leaves, and that's kind of where he like the broken arc comes from. Just has no more hope to win. So yeah, a lot of people said he's not the main character because in season four he doesn't get a lot of screen time. It's like that kind of like the point of his character. He's the broken hero. That's the point. So his mom and Johnny have like an awkward relationship and that's like messing with him mentally. Right? So, uh, and he feels weird about that. That's one thing. Uh, him and Sam's problems. That's another thing. Uh, he has emotions about his dad as another. He's annoyed by Johnny and Daniel having beef. He's also bothered by just like the whole dojo war in general he just doesn't he doesn't care for it he doesn't seem to have karate as his passion much anymore and he's nobody to go to about it because everyone's either invested in it or just doesn't care or i guess if they're if they're involved in it then like they're biased and you just can't really go to anybody about it and yeah it's just the point of his character he's alone he's like the last like he nobody cared about him anymore and uh yeah, so anyways, that is why he is that guy. But in season five, I'm a little worried about him. In all the shots, he seems angry, so I'm wondering if he is gonna uh, go to Cobra Kai, maybe. I don't know. I'm, I'm worried about it. But anyways, ah, uh, man, it sucks because I think he's gonna eventually lose to Robbie. I don't think it's gonna be this season. I think it's gonna be season six, though, so that sucks. I hope that doesn't happen. But yeah, anyways, so yeah, I feel like that's just like the whole idea of his character arc was that it's kind of like uh, Daniel and Karate Kid 3. But well, I mean, it's not like exactly, it's, it's kind of like that, but different. You know, like he's fallen, Daniel's fallen from where he was as a hero. And Miguel is too. Like he's still like that guy. It's just that he just doesn't have any more drive anymore. And he has no reason to keep doing what he wants to do, so he goes and finds his dad. Which I don't know if he knew, but that's something that was bothering him for a really long time. And then in the letter, you know, obviously he says, it's not just this thing that happened at prom. Like, dude, the whole show, he was being bothered by these things. And, well, not the whole season, rather. And, uh, yeah, so, one of my favorite characters. And, uh, hope you subscribe, like the video. See you guys.